Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Serge. And I'm Cern. All right, and now going back to the most important organs in the body, the kidneys, we're gonna be looking at the left paralumbar side and the left kidney. We're yep. gonna to get to the most important organs later, that's gonna be the heart and lungs, but we'll go ahead and look at the kidneys to keep Serge happy here. We're gonna look at that left paralumbar site. Big questions we're gonna ask and answer that left paralumbar site. After Serge explains the details on how to find that site, we're gonna ask the question, do we have free fluid? Do we have free air? And then we're gonna look at the kidneys and long and short axis for symmetry. We're gonna look for cysts, and we're most importantly gonna look at that renal pelvis and say, do we have renal pelvic dilation or no? You can see Serge does know how to count. He was working along there, that was very nice. Yep, French. Okay, so how do we find that left kidney? This one is gonna be easier than the right kidney. It tends to be right beside that 13th rib or sometimes just a little bit ahead or even more behind. But the key thing is find that 13th rib, which is that floating rib, which you can find right there. Once you find that, usually again, remember to try to go more dorsal than you think. Part the fur. Don't be a Dr. Boysen with alcohol and squirt the entire animal with alcohol. Take your probe. We start in long axis. And again, think about depth because you don't want to be too deep. So there we go. I think I saw it. Sweep and slide, sweep and slide. Boom. There's the kidney right there. Nice long axis view. And you can see again, we're scanning uh, Daisy here in sternal because that's the position she's most comfortable. You can see how uh, Serge has his probe a little off perfectly uh, perpendicular just because the kidneys can be a bit slanted mm -hmm. when they're sitting in the uh, abdomen. But you can see a nice view of the left kidney here. Uh, and you can see a bit of the spleen coming in here as well uh, on this uh, left paralumbar site. So we can also, there we go, we can see the spleen there. It is more mobile in cats, so we can pick it up nicely here at the left paralumbar site mm -hmm. as opposed to the umbilical site as we showed you earlier. So we're in long axis here. We're going to fan through all planes until that kidney disappears. We'll fan back the other way until that kidney completely disappears. Make sure you don't see any free fluid, free air. Again, check symmetry, look for cysts. And then once we've done that in long axis, we're going to rotate into short axis. And then Serge is just again going to fan all the way off the cranial pole. He's going to come back. He's going to fan all the way off the caudal pole, making sure we assess all planes of that left kidney. Once we've done that, symmetry looks good. No fluid, no free air. Uh, we don't have any uh, cysts. Now he's going to actually come in and answer that question again. Do we have renal pelvic dilation, yes or no? So he's gonna try and get the perfect short axis and then he's gonna fan through that kidney in the transversal short axis plane until he sees that renal pelvis. Uh, we'll find that by seeing the crest and the renal sinus. So we're just gonna look for that renal sinus and that uh, renal crest in our short axis. So we're starting to see a bit of the sinus coming in here. You see that now. And we're just gonna fan back and forth nice and slow. And again, the other big thing to make sure you get this nice view, so we're sort of getting it there, but you wanna make sure you do have the probe on short axis. So you do wanna make sure that you have a nice transverse. So okay. sometimes we're a little bit obliqued, so sometimes we just need to uh, go back to long axis and we'll uh, find the long axis plane and then we'll uh, rotate the probe a little left and right to get that the longest we can. And then once we get that, we're gonna go 90 degrees and surge is back to a transverse again. And there we go, we can see the sinus coming in there. We go, there's our crest there. That's our renal sinus. So again, no obvious dilation. So if you're spanning through and you're seeing the sinus nicely and you're seeing the crest as Serge has here, we may not see the renal pelvis in our healthy cats because it's often mm -hmm. negligible, non-visible, maybe one millimeter. So this is uh, normal. And once you get the hang of looking for that uh, renal sinus and crest, when they have renal pelvic dilation, it becomes very obvious. So there we go again, short and long axis view of the left paralumbar site. That's right. Merci beaucoup. Until next time.